be writing a book of any sort. When I was working in the adult industry, the experiences that I had over 20 odd years were numerous. And all my friends said, why don't you write a book? Now, I could write a number one seller about the adult industry, but I was very interested in, in doing something with a cookbook. My passion for cooking really began in Swaziland when we lived next door to Mozambique. We used to travel on weekends across the border into Mozambique to our favorite restaurants. And in those days, it was very, very chicken and Mozambique and prawns, what we call LN prawns. I spent a lot of time in the kitchen at Moses, Moses restaurant with Manuel. And he taught me how to make the genuine Portuguese very, very chicken. Firstly, the book is written around the meals that I like cooking. Obviously, living in Portugal is basically Portuguese. And then, of course, my background in South Africa with South African cooking, which is mainly on the fire, barbecue, what we call braai in South Africa, and influenced by Malaysian cooking from, from South Africa, because when I was a mechanic, my journeyman in those days was an Indian guy, and he used to invite me to his home on weekends, and I would experience their kind of cooking. And then, of course, we traveled extensively. And I, I picked up a lot of dishes from those different countries. And when I decided that I was going to write the book, I couldn't do just Portuguese cooking. I didn't know enough about it. So Avril and I used to make a, a point of going on holiday to somewhere different there where we would experience kinds of cuisine. We did the Maldives, we did Mauritius, Seychelles, uh, a lot of European, Hungarian because we used to work a lot in Hungary. My makeup artist in those days, Heine, is an outstanding chef. Not chef, but a cook. So she taught me how to make a lot of Hungarian meals. The other thing that's specifically lovely about the book is that the restaurants we visited, um, we visited them for years and years. We know the owners, we know the family. We've, we've seen their children grow up from nappies to getting married and having their own babies in nappies. And those restaurants are still going, which means they're still really, really good restaurants in whichever country we've been to. So we've taken their history and we've put their history into that book with, um, you know, how they got to be there and their specific dish that we like in that book. Um, they've given us the recipe for that. And then you have the option of Viv's twist on that recipe, which I think is a, is a lovely idea because also you can't always get what they have um, to make the, the, the recipe with so you can use it, use other things. If you look at a cookbook, some of these famous chefs and whatever, they assume that you can cook, that you can understand when they tell you a glug of this and a swish of that and it takes five minutes to do this and it, to be honest that's nonsense because I pick up a cookbook and it says da 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 and you just do this, stick it in the pot and do that and it, it, it's not like that, not for people like me and most like my friends, they all, yeah but how did you arrive at this and how did this happen and, and so on, so my book I like to think, gives you a detailed explanation from beginning to end about how to prepare, what to do with your preparation, um, and the sequence of cooking. The thing about being the, the photographer of beautiful women, he's brought a little bit of that in because that's his history. So he's brought a little bit of that into the book. Nothing is distasteful, absolutely nothing is distasteful. And um, I think, I believe the pictures are beautiful. Um, he was never a photographer of sleaze or 